down, people gripped by fear. Across the globe it spread swift in silence, killing in masses, no need of barking, barking, barking. Walkers out high, not too exciting. Like a rope cyclists are foot plenty. A virus, some say. No, they don't say. It's watching reports from China are plenty. A virus. Like up cyclists, dog walkers out hiking. I know this will change far too soon. I feel anxious. Sweeping vast oceans causing panic and rage. Now it's March of that. I'm a fucking <laughs> day 10 of isolation lockdown and isolation uh, due to the obvious uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus thing I'm in quite a lucky position in that working in newspapers I've managed to spare the the desperation I guess of of home self-isolation completely um, because I'm classified as an essential worker working in the media which is fantastic for me. It means that I can still get out and about with my camera, record life as it is, or it's quite sparse at the minute. It's, it's quite strange. There's not many people on the streets. There's a few cars, a few delivery vehicles, that sort of thing. A uh, few people out on the push bikes, walking dogs, exercise, that sort of thing. Uh, and it, it's just, it's quite surreal. First few days, were really next level out of this world stuff. It was crazy. But now it's, I don't know, it seems to have, we seem to hit some, we seem to have hit some sort of a, a, a sort of plateau in that we're still getting numbers of cases going up in New Zealand, averaging sort of 60, 70 new cases per day, countrywide. To date so far, and this is the 4th of April, we've had one death, uh, which is, which is obviously, tragic but just one death now we're ticking along nicely we we may fingers crossed we may have this under control the same this coming week could be a, a really bad week because that's when the incubation period so it comes to an end and people start getting sick hopefully it doesn't happen looking at trends overseas that could be a forlorn hope but but here we are anyway so so my my thing is i've obviously i can't get into the hills just it, I can't get into the hills like I normally do to record a video down at the beach, wherever, because it's isolation, you know what I mean? Even though I'm working and I'm allowed to be out working, it's it's not going to be good for me personally. And it's not acceptable anyway that I'm out wandering the bloody hills and things like that getting video. You can't anyway. The hills are shut. You know, it's just, you, you just don't do it. Go home, stay home. So what I've been doing, I've been coming to work each morning uh, and just doing a few few climbs on the stairs outside the emergency exit stairs and uh, just getting a little bit of exercise that way that's really pretty good the rest of the day is either based in the office processing photographs or it's on the road traveling about in the car looking for abstract things that are happening in the community uh, and gathering any any sort of live news that happens Anyway, so so this video, guys, it's a little bit of a bit of a mishmash, I guess. Uh, it's a few photographs of it's a few photographs that I've taken of the parking area outside the building. You know, as the sun comes up and it casts cast shadows all over the place. You know, I've made a couple of what I think are slightly interesting photographs from that, and I, just just anything to relieve the relieve the boredom. And I think that's what it's. Yeah. It's just starting to get a little bit sort of tedious now. Even though I'm not locked indoors, I feel so bad for the people who are actually on full isolation. It must be, day 10, it must be absolutely crazy. Uh, and for me to be given sort of essential worker status, it, it's still, it still doesn't sit 
really easily in here because you've got doctors, you've got nurses, you've got the emergency services, police, ambulance, fire brigade, you've got the shop workers, you know, supermarket workers, you've, you've got the people who are keeping the roads going. It's just, you know, and I, there I am doing what I always do. I'm out with a camera. <laughs> Nothing's changed for me, really. Uh, so it's a little bit, a bit strange. Uh, but even I'm feeling the boredom because there's not many people out there to shoot. Like I said, the odd few cyclists, a few walkers, queues at the supermarkets, that sort of thing. But other than that, there's, there's no sports, there's no events, obviously. And it's just, it's turning into long days. These are, begin, these are becoming long days. So anything to sort of leave the tedium, I'm up for it. I've, I've, so I'll get out with the camera whenever I can. Uh, I've also taken up something that I used to do as a young fella. Now, I don't think it's called poetry by any stretch of the imagination. It's just me writing a few words down, rhyme, rhyming things. Uh, so I, I started on one of these the other day, and I don't know, it's coming along. It's coming along quite okay. So, anyway, listen, more of that a little bit later if you're slightly interested. And what I'm going to do is put a sequence of photographs in that I've taken for work during me during my days at work uh, just to show what life is like in my little part of New Zealand at the moment uh, strange times crazy strange times I think to look back in years to come when this is all a distant memory I think uh, these photographs they're gonna be quite interesting to people in the future maybe who knows I don't know anyway guys listen that's it. Enjoy the video of what it is. Uh, and hope you're all keeping well, safe, and uh, avoiding this bloody bug. Right, guys, all the best. Kaki Terno. It's early January, the year 2020, and watching reports from China are plenty. A virus some claim created by man, infecting and killing, it starts in Wuhan. It spreads so fast in this globalist age, sweeping vast oceans causing panic and rage. Now it's March of this same fateful year, the world locked down, people gripped by fear. Across the globe it spreads swift in silence, killing in masses, no need of violence. Go home, stay home, isolate in your bubble. This thing is bad, it's real, it's trouble. Like living a horrible Hollywood nightmare. Not enough time to plan, get ready, prepare. Now the 28th day of March is dawning. 
waiting for news of the death toll this morning. They're dying en masse each day overseas. Mighty nations humbled, cowed, brought to their knees. It's here now, an unwanted arrival. The time of our lives, our fight for survival. Today is Sunday, March 29. The day looking good, dry, warm and fine. News from abroad reveals more and more dead. Here on our islands we observe with dread. I've been spared the rule of home self-isolation. Camera in hand, I gather news for the nation. So far a strange calm, not too exciting. Likered up cyclists, dog walkers out hiking. I know this will change far too soon. I feel anxious awaiting a rising bad moan. Then it happens, at the one o'clock brief. One person dead, one family in grief. The end of the month, March like no other. Our first poor victim, someone's dear mother. I'm aware of the patterns from lands far away. I'm a non-believer, but hell, it can't hurt to pray.